The film starts when he's young, pre-college, um, 17, 18, this kind of rebellious kid that's maybe too smart for his neighborhood. Uh, and uh, he sort of goes out into the world and takes a big, long look around and finds... Uh, finds a partner uh, that lives right down the street. Um, and, uh, and so then it carries through the, from, from sort of his first consumer product that he ever created, all the way to the consumer product that he created that probably changed uh, Apple the most, definitely changed his business the most all the way through uh, the invention of iPod. What the film does is it sort of takes the, says, all right, well, what was happening backstage? And what was happening two years backstage and five years backstage and 10 years backstage? And what was the, what was the battle? Um, how does someone become the type of person that can build that many brilliant things consistently and constantly that people love, enjoy, and appreciate. Um, I mean, he, he's that un, unpeeling that onion and getting to sort of like, well, what's the center of that? I think is uh, what's entertaining about the story. Steve Jobs found a lot of inspiration from music. Um, huge 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 Bob Dylan fan and um, and I'm sure that that I, I think part of his rebellious nature um, probably came from just like con consistently consuming the, the words of Bob Dylan we kind of hit it off right off the bat and, and I think both have the same passion to tell a story that really honors this guy and that experience um and uh you know it's 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 just it's great to be able to work with actors that are so honest and earnest about what it is that they're doing and and have a similar passion to sort of deliver Dermot's hair is like phenomenal in this movie. I give him a very hard time about his hair because he has more hair than I think humanly. I think he's got another, he's got an extra gene because he's got, his hair is actually built for the late 1970s and early 1980s because it's almost like somebody put a helmet on. When I met Josh, I was like, God, you're more like Steve Jobs than I am, like I, in a weird way. And I kind of looked at and to him a lot um, just to get into that like care of the detail, um, which I think he really has. Like I think he looks and sees. You always know when a director like has seen the detail because they'll come up to you after a take and they'll say, God, that little, that thing that you did and you go, wow, I didn't, you know, I didn't think that anyone noticed. Um, and he's the guy that sees that little detail. And it makes all the difference in the world. When I see Modine and he's, and we're on set together and we're doing this stuff, I, and I've seen a lot of John Scully's interviews. Um, Man, it's uh, it's eerie, like in a way when he's sort of in his mode, how close he is to that, that persona of the essence of Scully.